Okay, just a little update here on what I was saying about Neverwinter. I thought this might be one of the areas that's going away, but it's not. They've kept it in here and really just put it in part of the streamline. There's a lot less to do in this one. And I just got through going through all the barrows. I don't know if you can tell, but I just attained a wizard cap. Let's see if you can show it right in here. So you can see my wizard cap over here at the left. There's another version that you get a couple of mods later that I think looks a whole lot better. But regardless, it still does. And I have yet to take the get the dyes out and be able to use that. And really, I've changed my outfit so many times, it really doesn't matter that much anymore. But uh, I've named him Randy Rhodes, the famed guitarist that died in the plane crash for Ozzy Osbourne. And uh, this is a bard again, so we have the ability to play songs and whenever you do you can buff yourself you know and he's pretty damn OP he borrowed I borrowed the guys uh, my scourge warlocks lightning enchantment and put a few things on him that buffed him up pretty good and uh, one thing to note here uh, this ring is a 110 but it says that it requires level 5 I was able to put it on gold plated ring that's pretty amazing there. Also, I saved for over two years now, or even more, from whenever we had the Paladin. I got another set of ensorcelled Mulhorror and weapons, and I've put those on and been able to run through this. And uh, uh, I've got a, the Witch's Cap on now, and uh, I also was able to get the Slayer's Belt of Zim. This is a couple of the things people used to use to level up back in the day. I still have one, haha. -ha got an extra one by the way and uh, so I've got the one artifact here only at legendary it's ready to upgrade but I haven't twisted it yet and what I'm doing now is going through the uh, throne of Idris but one thing I want to note here this is the area that I just gone through the other day so they've upped the graphics one notch maybe one and a half notches which is something in this game whenever I started out was kind of lacking and it was still laggy real bad and there were so many people on it and so much magical effects going on at once and everything happening to where it lagged it out once they figured that one of the servers was doing that they were able to up the graphics a level and and really not have too much of a problem somebody reworked it apparently a few years ago and we were able to up the graphics another notch now it's gone to another notch so just to show you an example here, uh, comparative wise of the plants and the things that are down there, and when we look at one of these barrows and we get up close to it, you can tell it's got one level to it, but also if you zoom in on close on it, then all of a sudden you get another level, like the wood where all the stuff like that's on there. Anyhow, this throne of Idris, whoa, there's a big mob. This throne of Idris is the thing I was showing in the last video, where you have to go across this uh, bridge that's down here and whenever you do uh, it's the bridge that went across where there was mist at and then you fight Idris and this used to actually be one of the uh, dungeons that we had check out this power I have now yeah, you're out of here, bud. What's a lie? I didn't even use my song. So I've got to go across that. Oh, let's look at what this looks like. Now, well, there should also be... Go, 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 go. One on the other side. And that attack that I just did, I haven't perfected it yet in figuring it out, but it's got an effect where, uh, depending on where you're, I was out of that. Depending on where you are and which way you're aiming, it'll go right through somebody. And whenever it does, it does a double chew through them, so I have to figure out how to make that proc every time. Seems like I've kind of got it figured out, but every once in a while it just won't do it for me.
So I'm just giving you another little look at it. A couple of minutes here, guys, of stuff. Whoop, treasure chest. And I'm going to get into the throne of Idris here. You've got to run all the way through it. And they want you to fight every single thing, but you can run it, especially if you've got a good mount. And we're in. Also, the in-between screens, they've changed every single one of them. A lot of times when they're doing two like this, they'll show you the area and then the new place you're going to and stuff. It's pretty cool. Different timer thing that's hooked up to it and so on. So all these people are ghosts. And I've had to help them out, right? And it's all those barrows. And one thing in those barrows, I kind of wish, that's the reason I started this one that I've shown you, is that inside those barrows... They had dolmens set up on them, like a little Fred Flintstone house. Like we found in some of the barrows that they have. They're done with stone. And then other ones we found that they were, when they were done with wood. It's a little wooden house. Just like it was in the Sumerians and the Egyptians. And it's a little place for them to have supposedly in the afterlife. But at that same time, you're supposed to end up someplace totally different. So this is the throne of Idris, and this is a, a dungeon that was pretty tough back in the day, and everybody liked it. Now you can see if I get that tack going good, it just wipes them out, but I have to do it right. And I've got good companions and so on. Now this is the wrong way to go, by the way. I should have just gone the other way, but I'm trying not to skip anything in the process. I'm trying to pick everything up. That big green ball was something that I put out. You don't want to get trapped with them around you. Whoa, and you want to dodge whenever you can. Dodge big attacks. And they're trying to hook you up whenever you do this now. Because it's got full heal potions and things that you get. Of course, there are a limited amount of them. But in that same idea, you're able to uh, heal up all the way instead of partially and so on. So it's all been readapted, which is pretty cool. Uh, I swear there was something over there. I think in the old time we used to go through this, there was. A lot of this is bringing back memories, but they've streamlined it again. A lot of this older stuff you used to have to go through a couple of times. Huh, so I can't get through that. I'll flip my coin and go this way. So the pillars and everything. All the graphics look like it's updated about one notch here. The ground looks real cool and so on. And, and if I was to zoom in on it like this and play almost for, for first person off the shoulder, it gets a little more graphical. But I actually like having it back like this so I can tell what the hell's going on. That was a good hit with all that. You saw me just take everybody out. Yeah, so some of it's a little bit monotonous. But I've got pretty good defense and everything on this guy. So he can take a pretty good amount of damage. And uh, I put that companion on that gives you a super amount of hit points. It's one of the ones that I have available right now. Just helping to make it through my crit right now. Here, look at this. My crit and crit strike. See how they're golden over here on the right? They're actually over the level of my item level. I'm at 24k right now, but they're at 26 and 28 respectively. But what's going to happen here is shortly I'm going to get those other pieces that are green over here on the left of my stuff. And there's going to go blue or end or purple. And whenever that number goes up, of course, my item level goes up a little bit higher. But those numbers need to be up higher. Since I'm already over above, I will not be chasing it. 
So it's a bit of a waste right now. In fact, I added, I, I actually took some of the crit out of it to give more um, combat advantage. But I'm not really getting combat advantage constantly with this guy. I try, but it's one of those things where it happens half the time-ish or so. And so by doing so, I'm not really getting the full benefit. So instead of somebody who you would use that on constantly, it's really, for me, something that's more of a third check, you know, if you will. There's a good hit. Wow. Well, If I keep my companion on the other side of me, as you notice, the up under his feet is blue. And whenever that happens, you're doing extra damage. That's that combat advantage. It's a little hard to do sometimes. Let me go ahead and grab what he's got. So that's effectively the first boss. And then we go through and fight a second, and then Idris is the third boss. And Idris actually has things hooked up to Yggdrasil. And it's a goddess. Let's just go this way. This is the common way you used to go. It's like you could sneak around one group of guys by going this way. Of course, you thought you were, and then you go through this. Pow! Yeah, let me just work through those guys. My companion here, I don't know if you see it, but every once in a while, after he does about four sticks, he'll rear back and start spinning and go into him, and that does a pretty good amount of damage. I was able to roll out of it there. So I've been picking up everything I can, and uh, again, one thing that's helped me out is I had a couple of extra bags. And I was able to put those on. So I've got a bunch of crap here that I can deviate and do with. I've already upgraded a few artifacts also to go whenever I can even do the next artifact. I'm at level 10 now, so I thought I could do that. Oh, I guess I was going to check. Yeah. Uh, oh, oh, I can do it. So I can equip another artifact. This is really numbers we're looking at, but that's the only good one I've got so far. And... Really, I'm switching back and forth between that one and the other one as far as the damage goes. Some rewards are better than others. Sometimes this lore it just tells you things like that. Other times, whenever they get into this lore, it actually tells you something that goes along with the whole idea. That they're using necromancy on these and they're those ghosts that we were seeing outside. Uh, though they're trapping those ghosts and they're trying to use those against the own people haunting them because it's an ancient cemetery that was there long before they ever moved into the area and again I show you how that connection to Proto-Indo-Europeans in the first wave and second and who the fairy were in fact one of the points they call it a fairy mound in itself or uh, I'm sorry it's a uh, fairy king like like you hear about the troll king or this that and the other yeah so pretty neat one thing you don't want to do in this game is just draw a bunch of people around you to attack you and the other thing that's important along with that is whenever you do you don't want to have those guys surrounding you just like I get that blue-footed combat advantage on you, you get a group around you that's doing the same thing, and you'll start taking double damage. And if you have three or four guys hitting on you at one time, you'll just wilt. In fact, you've got to watch your uh, heal potions whenever that happens. And as soon as you get in that situation, you pretty much got to eat a heal potion and then get out of it. it used to be a, yeah, as I said, there used to be this thing back here. See if we can search that. So I'm really not even using my songs. Whenever I have a big group or something like that, sometimes I'll kick the song up at first. Or if they're doing a, a group and then ads fixing to come in, I'll stop what I'm doing and kick like that and then start playing my song. But uh, in doing so, they kind of make you immune to damage. You're taking far less damage. 
for any opinion. I just came here to Doom Guide. Okay, so he's a guy that we found. His companions. Whoa. He got lost from his companions. They're all dead now. He's trying to find his way out. He's the only one left of their little group. So I've told him which way is out. He's headed that way. I told him he was just go back that way. Take a left. Just some crappy potions that in just a minute I'm going to be over the level of. Okay, so as you can tell, I'm going through an extensive burrows here, right? What you would call a dungeon, but you might call it a cave. But then again, it looks like it's been made out of a mine pretty, pretty much, hasn't it? All these switches and doors that are on here. And this isn't just something that you would think of as being a regular dungeon. It is in the sense of Dungeons and Dragons, but... Again, a dungeon is just an ovulate or a hole to put somebody in. And so whenever we play the game like this, we're stretching the truth just a little bit. Oh, yeah, good hit. Did you see that one? I was able to veer it right through them. So it has to do with where you're aiming it at whenever you come through. And right when he starts up, then as soon as he's going, you just kind of and aim it right through him. And it puts out... A serious amount of damage like that yeah see me go through them again right whenever it did it sometimes you don't go through them other times you do oh there's she's creating more up here I gotta sit and kill this lady because she's just gonna create another group wow, I'm stuck can't believe I got rid of the other guys so quick it's because my uh companion there went into a spin like that and just really took him out so where am I at here almost on 20 minutes I'd like to go all the way through the end of it but I'm not even quite halfway or getting close to halfway now call out my dinosaur what a it's a buffer so I remember this wall opens up As soon as you get going, there's guys that are like, oh, you may have got in, but you ain't getting out. Oh, ah, yeah, I went right through them. That was fun. You see, I put my green orb out, too, so I was doing double at once whenever I went through them, and they just melted. So if you can save things for the right time and then pause and wait before you get the next one, of course, everybody wants to run and go. The worst thing you could do is be about half dead and run right into the next group or take that group that you're fighting and back up, back up, back up, scared and run into another group and oh damn, now you're getting double hit from both sides. Combat advantage, oh my gosh. Usually uh, you'll wake up uh, with a sore ass at the fire, if you will, <laughs> and you get to start all over again. Look at this spire that's here. Now this is a part that's in another dungeon that we have that we go through that we have now so they were able to reuse it and just make it look a little different that's it which is pretty cool gotta make sure I didn't go off the ledge there yeah that thing that he was fixing to do as an attack if I didn't stop it it was going to knock me back, and that was going to knock me onto those spikes, and I'd be dead, man. Oh, also, whenever I'm going through that attack, I'm semi-immune. I'm not immune. I'll take damage, but I don't take full damage because I'm in that whip mode. So real good to kind of save that and let the group get up on you and then whenever the group makes the mistake of getting up on you you were like whoa it's pretty cool so this bard's not just about music but he can jam 
And another thing you can do is you can just stop every once in a while whenever you want to. Ah, this is the throne here. This is part two. Yeah, I think the graphics have gone up one notch. So you've got to go over here and bust these things. There's like a gemstone that those are using to power everything up with. And so you're basically turning off the power for them. Come on. Another thing you don't want to let sit and happen is an archer from a distance sit and just mow you down. There's another one here, right? Yep. So a lot of this hasn't changed, but some of it has where it made it easier instead of having to go through these six things and then they make you do it after you learn it, then you go do it again and all that kind of crap. Now you just do it once and after you get through, then they have you run the dungeon and then after you run the dungeon, you're through and, you know. So it's more of a one-time shot. Usually they have you grinding everything. There used to be a chest back here. In fact, the reason I went back here is that everybody used to fight for it. It almost became a natural thing when I got to this point. I'm like, okay, and where's the chest? So we're supposed to go up and flip this switch, but I've got to go fix the thing on the other side first and bust it. So let's get these guys out of the way. Oh yeah, I just love that attack. Sometimes he will not let me get on the other side of him. You almost have to wait till he's engaging. And then once he engages, you can be like, okay, now he's stuck in it. Here's the other one. Pow, boom. Couldn't move over enough. Okay, here's the little fight before I get to turn off the switch. Hit a heal potion right there whenever I knew I took damage. And I should be able to get through this fairly well. Keep him on that side of me. Roll out of it. I've used all my attacks, so all I've got is that, but bam, that's it. Waited for my moment. So this guy's kind of a buffer, too, in the way that he attacks. So he really helps the group kick ass. So in that fact, yeah, there's a pretty good... I think that's a, a graphic update. A lot of times you can tell because of the water and things like that and the way that certain things look and how that rust kind of looks all multicolored more than it was before. Floors change a little bit. Textures on things change a little bit. Stuff like these things. Some of them have changed. You know, whenever you play this on PC, you're able to set uh, what level of graphics you got it at. And if you set it too high of a graphics, it just gets slow and boggy. And so you're supposed to slow it down. You're supposed to take it down a notch, you know. Instead of going in, you know, five times HD, you're supposed to take it down into 760 by 480 or whatever. And you can go lower and lower and lower. And you get real fast response, but the graphics go a little lower. Well, in Xbox and stuff, they've made it just constant. And whenever I played this before this really ever got going on Xbox, on PC, 
PC was able to take something like the clock tower that you go through early and they had a clock in there and it's all working the mechanisms you can see the gears and the texture of them and all these things going on and whenever I went into it on Xbox it was just like some simple little clockwork thing and it didn't look near that as good but that's because the graphics package is much lower I went in earlier with him didn't record it but they don't even go through that part where you really see the clock anymore which kind of sucks because I thought they did that whole thing because because of that I mean it's the clock tower and you go around putting cogs and things and setting it up and setting switches and hours and days and everything and you set it all up for the farming community again so they can get it back going I mean it's something I probably could have done a video on but oh, usually there's a whole group we've got to fight here before we get up here to the top but uh instead just able to stay on her right there get on the other side of her there we go yeah she'll try to get out of combat advantage if she can use my other attack bam 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 you're out of here see I really didn't even lose half my life and she gave me a ring night worm ring and some seals. Bam. Fred Eagle did. And a lot of times, well, when we play the normal thing, there's a chest that's over here. And there's also a chest over here that pops up. This one's the regular one. That's the extra one. And they've taken those out of this. But then again, it's not a full blown five man dungeon, it's just part of your quest. one of the dungeons they took out of the game years ago and everybody wanted back and they've only brought it back a couple of times during some events and so people are going well why not well for this reason that it just becomes part of your go in well maybe it should still be one of the ones that you can do your daily cues on and so on right I mean that, that just makes sense all right let's just run this out now that I got back and now instead of being able to make it across the bridge, is there anything new here? No. And then instead of making it across the bridge, what you do is, well, I can try to jump it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, that no, didn't make it. I'll just go run out. And so now we're headed back to cash it in. Wow, it's evening, so it's got that weird mist on everything you can see ghosts everywhere pretty cool sorry I'm so quiet I'm more sitting back in the chair rather than leaned forward guys but uh yeah so even the water seems to have gotten one more level of stuff you can see the perfect reflection in it and so on and it, it always moved with us and did things but it's at a different level now than it was slightly flames and everything seem to be the same so what they really were able to do was get in and say which things are better and which things aren't. And in fact, that that's what they did when they did it before. It was they tried to turn off some of the magical effects down one notch with everything else up one notch, and uh, it made it better. Well, first they turned everything down one notch because of the lag. So now I have to go back to Protector's Enclave, and then rather than running all the way back through the town and going all the way back, which if you look at this map is quite the endeavor here I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, use my VIP status and a travel signpost and you can use this and just magically transfer it back so anyhow that's even downs and uh, that's about enough on that but yeah uh, they haven't really taken so much out of it a little bit of the lore and a lot of the grind and they've upped the graphics one notch and I'm really liking the play of this bard. In fact, it looks a little OP, but I'm sure they've got it figured out. Whenever I hit this next area that I'm going to after this one, I won't be all OP versus the guys and I'll have to work through it again and get better stuff that you get while you're playing each level and go through. It's the way it always was before. Peace.